good boy. All gone. Amazing. Hello, hello. I would say good morning, but that would be a lie. Because um, it's not. So. We've had our first frost recently, so I need to get ours wormed. They all had um, their tapeworm test came back mild, so they all needed worming, um, which is fine, not a problem. It varies year to year, um, it doesn't seem to really make any sense as to who and why. And these two behind. So when I wormed them last year, um, I had, everyone was pretty good apart from Charlie. Not that he was bad, you know, I don't have any that are really, really bad, but he wasn't great. So I've made a, um, my own sort of apple sauce, which is literally just apples and water, and I've blended it all up. It looks absolutely disgusting. Um, and I'm gonna do some training with him today in preparation for worming. So I'm just gonna do some bits um, with a syringe and the, um, apple sauce and try and get it turned into a bit of a nice thing for him. I have to do it again once I've wormed him because he'll go, how dare you? You broke my trust. You tricked me. Um, but that's fine. If this works well, then it just takes a bit of stress out of it. So I'm going to grab him now and we'll head down to the stables. But yeah, he's not terrible to worm, but I just remember last year having, having to fight a little bit with him because he did not want it. And even and um, doing the tapeworm test, the saliva test, he's not keen on that either, which I can't blame him, it's not very nice. Um, you know, none of them are keen on it, but he's a little bit more like, actually, I don't want you to do this, which is fair enough. Um, so yeah, that's been the idea anyway, is to um, get him feeling a little bit more happy with having a syringe in his mouth, with something nice in it, and going from there, so. We'll see what happens. I've got to find a syringe first. I know I have it on the yard, but who knows where it's gone. So that's the first challenge. Okay, so I found the syringe. It's a little bit dirty from what it was used for last, um, but I've just rinsed it out and it's just stuck. So it's not good anyway. It's not gonna do any harm anyway. So I'm gonna try and syringe some in there, which could be interesting. Maybe if you, whoop, there for a second on the wonk but so literally apples and water and actually I've only put one apple in here I thought I've got two because I thought I would need two um, and I've probably put a little bit too much water in but it's, um, oh, it smells horrible uh, I'm just gonna fill this oh actually uh, oh I've, I've got a bit of apple stuck Yeah, it might still be a little bit lumpy in places. Okay, that's as much as I'm going to get in there for now, so that's fine. So I shall talk through what I'm going to do now. Ah! Oh, so what I'm going to have to do first, close the cure hear me, um, is because he's not going to get any apple sauce straight away and obviously just touching it to him and showing it to him can be a bit like, oh, I'm going to just do some treating first. I'd normally have my clicker. Um, but I don't know where it is, so we'll see how we get on that. That might take a little bit of time just on itself. Hopefully once we get to actually giving him a little bit of this and he's happy with that, we should be on a good roll then because this should be nice and tasty. Sorry, I did a good boy. And it should smell nice at least as well. Touch. Good boy. I'm gonna assume the position. Touch. Good boy. Good boy. You're not gonna be a problem, are you? Good. Good boy. I think you can you can smell it, don't you? And the dog can. Oh, I'm still on it. What a waste, Charlie. What a waste. You still can. Good boy. Okay, I was very tempted to squirt some in then but I don't want to give him a bit of a shock. Good boy. 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 
yeah, that actually went quite well. My camera fell over just at the end and then my battery spontaneously died as well. Um, as these things you know, seem to happen. So yeah, I'll do that for another couple of days. And then hopefully in a few days time, you'll see me worm everybody and we'll have no dramas. But anyway, so I think, yeah, that was quite good. I mean, if that had been wormer, I'd have been quite happy with that because I wouldn't have got covered in it either because that's sometimes his trick too. Um, you know, he throws his head around so much while you're trying to do it that actually you end up caked in it. So, good start. So I've just put Charlie away, but oh, I just thought actually if um, if I can get hold of the others in the other field, um, the five of them in there, then I'll worm them now today so that they're done. Um, and then I've just got to worry about those three once Charlie's done a little bit more um, training and we'll go from there. Plus it means if I have any issues with the others, I've still got the apple sauce here um, so I can go back and do that with them if I need to. Um, and I'll give them a call and see if they're going to come over. Okay, who wants to go first? You? You go first? Come on. So, this is what I've got for them. We get our wormer from the vet. Um, it's part of the plan that we have with them. Um, you pay a monthly fee um, and you get four, four poo counts, one take room test, a winter wormer, teeth with sedation and their annual jabs and you get discount off other stuff if you need it as well which touch wood we haven't done oh it's not nice is it follow that and then you have a treat okay always oh, so suspicious afterwards good girl oh i'm so sorry It feels so bad, it must be so horrible. <laughs> me to do Sunny's wormer, which was hardly any time at all. The others have buggered off and they're back up the top field and they won't come back down. Bye. 
bloody idiots, a lot of them. Don't look so cute and innocent. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Just what I need for, I want to go home. A nice wet, muddy dog. You having fun? Come on, dog. Uh oh. <laughs> Poor Nova. You're a good girl, really, aren't you? You'll be so disappointed with what's coming up next. Oh, she's not too worried by it all, is she? Go on then. You're in the way, I can't shut the gate. Maybe I can. Oh, just. Good girl. Oh, that's one set then. So I'll give it a <laughs> little. Give it a few days and um, we'll do the other lot. So, I'm back with Charlie. Um, then it's only actually two days later um, and I've done one very short session in between with the, the apple sauce um, so I'm gonna bring him in now I'm gonna do one final session that will make a little bit longer um, you go in um, and do that with him and finish off and then hopefully I'll worm him then and worm the other two and then they're all done I decided to do them in the stable today I want him to be able to have a bit of hay if he wants, um, anything like that. And I want him to be able to move away from me if he wants to, if I'm being a bit too pushy. I want him to be able to, to back off. A tree everywhere. So I'm going to take a little bit more time today, but we'll see how we get on. And then I'm going to do the same sort of things with good boy, with the actual worm man because it's going to be slightly different. I'm going to dip the end of this in what I've got left of the apple sauce so that it kind of at least tastes the same. Touch. Good boy. Because it is going to be slightly different now. But hopefully. Good boy. You can see he's a bit more suspicious of it. Good boy. So I've got to start the process all over again, basically. Good boy. Good lad. Oh, that was much easier than last year. I can tell you that now. So that actually went quite well um, and that was much easier, I mean even with just a syringe from what I did two days ago, um, you know he was happily putting that in his mouth and grabbing hold of it with his teeth for me to squirt the apple sauce in. Um, so I think what I need to do um, in prep for next time is keep some of those worm in containers, um, clean them out, sort them out and use them next time because that obviously made quite a big difference um, and obviously the smell he could smell the difference but still I mean I still managed to do them without head collar um, 
and to do it realistically quite easily. Um, so I've just got two more to do, who are normally really good as well, so hopefully I won't have any issues. And then they're all done. Oh, the thing wasn't working properly for some reason. Last one, finally. Everyone's done and wormed until next time. Um, definitely benefit Charlie doing that. Um, Say so Dusty could have been probably done with that as well. Poor Nat's got the um, the bad end of the deal. The thing, as I pushed it, it, it was stuck. Like, there was no cap on it, but it, it wouldn't come out. So I'd got it in her mouth quite happily, um, and nothing had come out. So bless her, she wasn't very happy of having to basically do it again. Um, so she might be a problem next time. None of them will take any treats off me now, they all hate me. So we'll have them worm counted in the spring and hopefully we won't have to worm again. But if we do, I'll do the same with everybody and we should have some happy ponies. So yeah, fingers crossed. It'll be another vlog or another video out in two days time. Um, well, there should be anyway. So see you there.